call up Alejandro Musa. He had an idea of starting an indoor skate park. Um, that's really what he came to Diverge and do with. And throughout the course of the semester, that progressed a little bit. So I'll let him kind of account that journey for you guys. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, so my name's Alejandro. Um, I'm probably the oldest one out of the group, I believe. So career-wise, I'm like a little bit further along. I'm a project manager for a large company, and I've been doing that for about seven years but I've been skateboarding for 20 years. And that's always been like my passion. That's like what I do after work, that's what I do on the weekends, that's like my thing. And although I do like my job, it's you know it's reliable, having nice benefits and having like a safe income and all that stuff, I've always like dreamed of opening up an indoor skate park. So I joined Divergent U to get into the specifics and build out a business plan and like look at the money side of things and look at like the programming and my idea essentially is to connect like skateboarding with education. So the park is going to have after school programming, like summer camps, a lot of stuff like that, which there isn't much of at the moment. But essentially, throughout the last eight weeks, I developed a business plan. I started being a lot more vocal about it. I talked to like friends, family, loved ones about it, like my community. I just started telling people, like, hey, I'm working on this, thinking about like leaving my job if this you know, plays out and built a business plan, learned a lot of stuff about the industry, about the market, um, figured out all the financial stuff, and probably about two weeks ago, um, out of nowhere, I was presented with an opportunity uh, from somebody who is a skate park designer and consultant, and who's been doing it for like 20 years, and this guy essentially built skate parks throughout the whole world, and he, saw some potential in me and essentially like approached me to start a company and partnership with him. And about two weeks ago, I pretty much had to kind of make the call of like, all right, I'm either gonna continue to work on this business plan or just like shut it off and just like switch gears to like this new opportunity. And I essentially I'm gonna take on this new opportunity because it's more scalable, like instead of just building one skate park here in Orlando, with this opportunity I could have access to a network of like building skate parks all over the world. So it's like, it's an amazing opportunity that is, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty on like where that's going to go in terms of like my partnership with this individual and things, but it's looking really promising. But my biggest takeaway for you guys is that like that other opportunity would have, would have never come up if I didn't start the business plan and start talking about it to like friends in my community. They would have never known that I was like thinking about leaving my really reliable job to like try to do something in skateboarding. So just being able to like be with this class and like bounce ideas off of them for the last eight weeks, having the co-working space, having Sam with the one-on-ones, it essentially like empowered me to be more vocal about it within my community, which opened up these other doors that would have never opened up if that didn't happen. So it's been an awesome eight weeks. I want to thank Sam for his whole dedication and it's been a really great learning experience and yeah, I'm excited for what's ahead. So thanks.